Welcome back to Zorbot Custom Works. Uh, it's a little updated video on this Project Onyx truck of mine. My personal rig. I've done videos on this before and posted. Um, this is just a walk around video. Kind of give everybody a showing of what's going on with it here and in its status currently. This is Memorial Day weekend. Just pulling it out of the barn for the first time this season. Going to take it to a car show tonight. Give you a little walk around here. So this is an original SS2. that I restored with my own kick on it. I did keep it in SS2 uh, just because it was in pretty good shape. Um, pretty solid truck to begin with. Give you some overall details on it. It's got the 5.3 LS motor in it. Got some upgrades on it. Makes it fun to drive. Hydro Boost brakes. Uh, all the goodies, you know, you name it, this truck's got it. Mechanical specs on it, 5.3, 4L60, uh, transmission, 354 gears, 35 inch tires, moto metal wheels. Did some upgrades on the steering geometry as well as uh, axle placement and so forth while it was being restored. I went through this. If you look back at the pictures of this thing, you'll see that there was no nut and bolt that wasn't touched. No screw that wasn't replaced. I mean, it's it's 100%. It's got the coated digital gauges, b &M shifter. Everything was done in a black and silver motif to go along with the Onyx theme. Floor coverings on the inside um, are bed rug. Cut to fit, easily removable. If you wanted to clean out the inside, wipe it down after a day at the beach or out riding around, totally doable. Kenwood sound system. Small amp in the console, in the Tuffy Box, Tuffy Box console. Full soft top and door skins obviously go with it. Brand new top, top and doors. It's never seen rain, the top and door skins. This truck's not seen rain since it's been restored. Only sunny days, only pretty days. Never been off road, nothing like that. It's only been on the asphalt so as you can see 5.3 upgraded intake stainless steel headers all coil sensors knock sensor delete setup cold air package hydro boost brakes Heavy duty radiator with spall fan. Like I said before, there was no there was nothing that wasn't touched. All brand new wiring, brand new injectors, brand new everything. Anybody wants to hear it run? I already did a cold start video. I moved this around the yard a little bit, so. Purrs like a kitten. 
does exactly what it's supposed to do. Lots of little upgrades I've done on this truck. Shut this off so you can hear me. Little things like hydraulic strut for the hood, does away with that factory hood lat or hood prop. We relocated the axle. I slid it uh, back slightly. Do that uh, with conjunction in conjunction with uh, the aftermarket heavy duty shackles that I put on it. Rough Country 4 inch springs uh, allows you to run 35 inch tires without doing a spring over. Um, again, corrected the steering geometry at the same time, put heavy duty drag link and tie rod in it um, to help with that. All rod in, heim joints, stainless steel. Put these uh, nice cable straps on the tailgate also to do away with the clanky noise making metal straps as you can see the top folds back nicely like it's supposed to nice aftermarket seats in it neoprene for easy cleanup water resistant like i said it's never seen it since it's been done but toughy box console kenwood sound system Like I said, uh, floor coverings are all bed rug. This has been sprayed with Raptor liner uh, inside and out on the bottom of the tub, as well as thermo insulation on the bottom. Um, so this thing's not so hot on your legs. You know, transmission tunnels in these, if anybody's familiar with the SS2s, they get hot. Um, your calf laying up against it. Anybody has questions about the authenticity of it being a real SS2, if you know anything about Ventags, you'll know, you'll know. Baby amp in the Tuffy box, which makes it very nice. Winch controller. Again, Kenwood sound system. B&M black, uh, it's chrome black shifter. Again, carrying with the black motif inside. Dash has been sprayed with Raptor. Protect it from the harsh sun and water that may come if somebody was driving this on the beach or whatever. Dakota digital gauges which work phenomenal. I love these things. Try to use these on a lot of my restorations. Everything else pretty much in correct location. Um, trying to think, reinforced throttle, pa throttle pedal, accelerator channel, they're prone to break. I always like to uh, put a reinforcement bar in the back of those, protects them from breakage later on. Heavy foot kind of stuff. Shoulder harness is in this. Extra protection. Three-way retractable. Just lap belts in the back. I did add these uh, oh crap bars here on the front. Helps support the windshield frame too. As you know on these um, SS2s, when uh, there's no support on the windshield frame, they tend to rock and they get stress cracks and everything else. By adding a bar like this that's a bolt-in setup um, it adds a lot of rigidity to the windshield frame uh, keeps that from waffling around and and uh, under highway speeds also controls how much tensions on the top you know uh, when you, you have an SS2 the amount of tension on the soft top is directly related to the windshield frame without a brace like this being in place these bars are really nice gives you something to hang on to when you're going down the road
got some uh, wild boar handles here also for added assistance getting up into the truck it's being sitting on 35s it's got a little height to it so if you got short legs helps you get up in there speaking of helping you get up in there got some uh, rock slider nerf bars on here that I fabricated that help you a bunch these steps come in handy I'm getting older and when I was young that wouldn't have been such a big deal but as my knees get uh, a little achy and sore sure gives you a little assistance getting up in this thing I've had a lot of people ask me about the stripes on this these stripes are under clear they're not decals um, I painted this on with uh, just pearl that's all it is it's a pearl mid coat there's no pigment in that it's strictly pearl and then sprayed over top of the black which the pearl interacts with the undercoat which is black which creates a silverish gray real ghosty depending upon uh, where you're at in the sun beautiful this is a beautiful truck all the way around if you're looking for a truck that's going to turn heads get attention pay off as an investment this is it this is it check out all the pictures cold start video and so forth um, if you have any questions get a hold of me happy to answer any questions if you don't like it and it's not your taste I respect that no problems there's haters everywhere so I'm sure this doesn't uh, fit everybody's palate but it did fit mine and that's the way I build it and obviously it fits a lot of other people's from the uh, overwhelming attention this thing gets so I look forward to hearing from everybody and if you're going to bid on this when it goes to auction bid with confidence because I'm going to take this thing out tonight and enjoy it drive it around a little bit me and my wife are going to have a little date night like I said it's been sitting in the barn all winter feels good to get it out all right y'all have a good night